Hey guys, so I look very weird, but it's because I only have my brows done and I don't have any other face makeup on. But today I wanted to try out the super trendy diamond, I mean not diamond, what? Crown I look and I am wearing a shirt. It's like, I feel like this is an announcement in every single video. I'm wearing a shirt, it's just that it falls off the shoulder, so. Yeah, I've been really dying to try this makeup look out, but I feel like I'm going to fail miserably at it. It's just like so many lines and it's like symmetrical and I don't know if I'm all about that life. But the reason why um, I'm filming this look without a whole face makeup on is because after I film the eye look, I do want to film another makeup tutorial. Whether it is a fail or not, this will not be like a full face routine. It'll just be the eyes. I don't know if I should take you guys in closer. I feel like I won't because this is more watch me try on a tutorial so yeah i'm still going to tell you what products i'm using so i'm going to be only using the modern renaissance palette because i wanted to do like a warm tone kind of crown look i don't know what shade to start with though i feel like i'm going to start off with the shade golden ochre which is this like yellowish kind of shade over here and this will be our transition shade i don't know why this shade has so much fallout it's so crazy that's the only shade from the whole palette that has as much fallout I'm also doing both of my eyes on camera, which is something I literally never do. Next, I'm going in with shade Raw Sienna over here and just building that into my crease as well. To deepen up the crease, I'm going in with the shade Red Ochre right here and just deepening out my crease. I struggled saying that word. I feel like this is definitely the easy part. I took that a little bit too high, I'll just bend that out. So now comes the actual difficult part, and I feel like I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit just so you can see if I'm going to fail or not, and if I fail, hopefully it's a little bit miserable. So yeah, I don't know why I'm tearing up. I'm going to, uh, I'm so scared for this part, line the crown, and it says to do five dots, so I'm just going to look straight ahead so that you can see the points because I have hooded eyes. Wish me luck. So this is already not working out because my pencil just does not work, basically, so you're joking with me right now. I did one point. So I'm redoing the middle dot because it's not centered. I'm kind of erasing over here, hopefully it works. Okay, honestly, that covered it up a little bit, so... I think I did a good job. I mean, at least with the points. Now I have to see if I can actually connect them if I actually went to kindergarten. I should be able to do this. Well, shit. This might not turn out as bad as I thought. Oh, fuck. Here comes the zigzag. I'm scared for the zigzag. Now I'm going to do a zigzag between the dots, the remaining dots. Oh shit, I moved you guys. I mean... I don't know you guys. Okay, so then the tutorial said to fill in the whole lid with a white. I feel like this, this liner is really old. I feel like it would look better if I fill it in with concealer. So that's what I'm gonna... Okay, I cannot talk. So I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some concealer. So this might ruin it because the concealer might transfer, but I just don't like the texture of the liner. I feel like it'll look very clumpy and disgusting, so, yep. Shit, that scared me. I feel like I don't have big enough eyelids for this. So now I'm going to set all of that with the shade Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette. It's just a gold shade. I mean, it just, it doesn't look bad. I'm just not 
impressed by it, you know what I mean? I feel like the lines could be cleaner. But whatever. I mean, I feel like I did a good job with my hooded eyes problems. Like, you can still see the peaks. I don't actually have jewels, so I'm just gonna use glitter. And I'm gonna, like, concentrate that in a little ball. I'm using gold glitter. When you guys are wondering, this is golden. Can you stop texting me? Thank you. I'm using golden eye from bulk glitters. It's a pretty chunky glitter, so it's probably gonna be hard for me to handle. But I like challenges, as you guys can tell. So, yeah. I think like I'm gonna screw this up here. I mean, that doesn't look bad. Oh my gosh, I actually like that. Do you guys see that? Oh, oh shit. I got some glue in my eyebrow. I feel like I'm succeeding. I'm gonna take you guys in closer so you guys can see my success. Fudge, that kind of looks good. So basically my technique, if you guys don't have jewels either, I'm taking a plucker, however you call this, and I'm putting glue at the end. Okay, can you focus? Thank you, bro. And I just put it in the end of this. And then I just press that at the tip of the peak. And then I take some glitter at the end of the brush and just pack it in there oh i love this okay i feel like it looks better when you have the jewels on the jewels on doesn't that look super cute yeah i kind of forgot about this eye by the way yay all right i need to take snaps now so i'll be right back i'm back oh shoot so i made a choice i made a life decision and that is to not recreate the other eye because of two reasons one this eye took me half an hour to create and although it's like really pretty I was not going to do a full face anyways and second of all this eye is always harder on everything so if this was hard enough I don't even want to imagine how this eye is gonna turn out um yeah some of you guys probably think this is like ugly I literally just went to my sister's room and she's like what the fuck and I was just like it's a look, it's a thing. So yeah, some of you guys might not like it. I obviously, I feel like I would never wear this like going out. Like I, I already wear dramatic looks to go out. But like this is just like, although it like shows lots of skill and stuff, cause it's really hard to do. I feel like it's just like kind of, it's not that flattering on the eye. You know what I mean? Like it, it looks kind of weird, but I don't think like it's worth it to literally last one hour only doing my eyes if I'm not even gonna do a full face of makeup or if I'm not even going to go out after this. That was today's video. I know this looks super odd with only one eye done. Yeah, that was the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look, it was not a look. That was me trying out the, the, I was gonna say diamond again, the crown eye tutorial. I'm a little bit late on the trend, but whatever here that was it for today's video and i will see you guys in my next one with hopefully a real tutorial love you